What's happening guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Tuesday and I haven't done any laundry so we've made it Hawaiian shirt Tuesday even though it's freezing outside. Today I'm talking about the focus modes in the latest generation Sony cameras. So this is going to apply to the a7 III, R3, A9. It'll apply to a lot of them, the others like the a7 R2 and stuff like that, but mostly the current generation cameras. So I've put a couple of photos up on the wall behind me and I'm going to record the screen, show you guys how I focus mode works, go through all the systems, how I use them, which ones I use for different lighting situations. So this video is really just about how to get the most out of your Sony camera in terms of the focus system. So let's jump into the back of the camera and go from there. All right guys, here we go. We're inside the back of my camera in my office. And as you can see, I've got a couple of photos on the wall here because the uh, eye focus works not as well as a real person, but it does work so I can demonstrate it. So firstly, what I'm going to do is go through all the focus modes that the Sony's have and then why I use each one and the ones I just don't use at all. And then I'm going to go over eye focus and then I'm going to talk about why I use AFC over AFS. Firstly, let's jump into the mode. So now we're on wide area. Now wide area just covers, it's just like it says, it covers the entire frame and just chooses all the points there going crazy. And it's just like full autofocus. Basically it's choosing what it thinks it should focus on. So not something I use. It's good for video. If you just want to record just general stuff, have a play with it. Not really ideal. Now moving along zone area, as you can see, if I point up at the ceiling, I can still move it around with the joystick. It's just a massive large area to focus on. Now, what I use this for is the dance floor. So when it's really, really low light in the dance floor and like a little center spot isn't working for you, you just use this and then it focuses really well because it uses so many points. It focuses really well in low light and it still picks up the, eye, the face tracking. So if you're on the dance floor and it picks up a face, it'll lock onto that. If it can't because it's so dark, it'll just use whatever, it'll just focus on whatever's in the middle. Now that area works perfect for low light situations. So if you're struggling in low light for dance floor or anything similar to that, um, try this mode and it works awesome. Now next one along is center, and this is just kind of pointless to me personally. Um, see what I'm doing now is moving around the joystick, but you can't. It's just literally center area and uh, it's locked off on that. I don't have a purpose for it personally. Maybe some of you guys do, but for me, I'm just gonna skip it because I don't use it. Now next one, flexible spots. Now these, these are the ones that I use most of the time. So flexible spot medium is what I generally use. It just tracks a, a slightly larger area and helps with contrast points and things like that. So that's generally what I'm using. And then you can use your joystick to go around pressing to, in the middle of the joystick to go back to the center. So that's generally what I'm using most of the time. Uh, another thing to note is that it doesn't matter what area you're on. See if I hold my point here and then I press my eye focus button, eye focus still works regardless of where you are uh, on the frame with your focus point. Um, so yeah, that's kind of irrelevant, but it's an important thing to note. Large is just the same, but a little bit bigger. The thing that's small is I just find sometimes if it's a really low contrast point, uh, it can struggle to focus. See, I can't get it to work here, but if I go here, see, it's going to freak out a little bit because it's so, the, the point's so small and there's nothing to focus on. So that's why I use medium. And if I go back down, it's going to work fine. Um, so try it out for yourself. But medium for me is what I use and that works. Now, if you want to use a small spot, I'd recommend going expandable, expand flexible spot. So this is just uh, like flexible spot small. But if I come down here again, see it's going to use, it can't find the center. So it's going to use just a cup, a few surrounded points to find what you want. So um, I have been using that a bit lately and it works really good. I'm still testing this, but it seems to work really well. So uh, I think I'm moving more to this one rather than just the flexible spot medium. But uh, I'll report back in another video once I've tried it out heaps. Um, I didn't really know it even existed to be honest. Uh, when I first switched to Sony. I'm not sure if it was in the A7R2s, but anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. Now, these ones lock on AF wide. So you've got all the same modes as we had previously, but with lock on in front of it. Now, what lock on is, if I go to say medium here, I'll press AF on, and then it tracks a big box. And the box expands and contracts depending on what your subject is. So if it's like a person, you'll see the box will go around the entire person. Now I just don't find it works that well and I don't personally use it myself. I've heard a lot of sports guys use it, but for me, it's just, it's, I, I just don't. So try that out for yourself. It's a really simple explanation. It just 
chooses you, you choose what you want it to focus on and then it will find you know it'll, it'll just expand around that and uh, track it for you so for me personally not something I use all the time but try it out for yourselves maybe you will like it more than I am see it does it does work um, I guess I just generally don't because mostly I'm, I'm using eye focus when I'm photographing people so now I'm back on flexible spot medium. As you can see, I can move it around, press center to go back to the middle. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you choose one person out of a whole bunch when you're focusing with eye focus? Now, if you have a look here, this is how you do it. So if you have a look on these two photos, there's a gray box around each person. Now, if you've got 20 people in a group photo, you should see 20 boxes in your viewfinder. Now, all you do, see, I'm not gonna press anything. I'm just gonna hover over with my spot. See on each box. The one you hover over goes white. So I'm not pressing anything again, I'm just hovering over it. So for example, if I wanna choose Isabel's face here, I'll hover over it and then press eye focus. See, and that's just gonna lock that eye and it's not gonna change regardless of where I point it. So if I point it directly in the middle of Ethan there, it's not gonna change. So really important to remember, if I just have it down here and then press eye focus, it's just gonna choose for me. See that? So I didn't, I didn't choose any face, it just chose Isabel's. It'll probably choose the closest person. So if I come over here, yeah, see? So it got Ethan's face. But the point is, it's not letting me choose. So if you've got a bride and groom and a whole bunch of other people standing around them, and I just wanna choose the, the groom, I'll hover over, press eye focus, and then it will lock that and I can shoot away as much as I want and uh, it won't lose that eye. That's how you select a person out of a whole bunch of people. Now the next thing I want to talk about is AFS versus AFC. Now this is different with Sony cameras. I think this is kind of the problem where people say Sony cameras focus um, slow. See if I'm doing it here, this lens isn't hugely fast, but you can see I'm just, all I'm doing is letting go of my focus and then refocusing on each thing and it's lightning fast, it works awesome. Now that's because I'm in AFC. Now, if I switch over to AFS, you'll see that, see it kind of jumps in and out before it locks. So if I go to the speaker, it's much, much slower than normal. So this is why, I mean, if you're using back button focus, you have no reason to use AFS anyways, uh, but this is just more incentive to use um, AFC with Sony cameras. Um, so it's just, it's just a thing, it just is what it is and it's something you just have to work around. AFS has always been slow like this since I switched to Sony in the beginning a couple of years ago. If I switch back to AFC here, you can see heaps faster. No lag at all, it just works flawlessly. So if you're finding your camera's focusing slow, it's probably because you're either in AFS mode or you're just doing something wrong. <laughs> but generally AFC is the way to go because as you can see again, AFS is just really, it's just really not working. Now the other problem with AFS, if I lock onto there and then move, obviously it's gonna let go of that focus. You know, it's gonna go out of your depth of field and the shot's gonna be out of focus. When I'm in back in AFC, I can just hold the button down and it's just always gonna be in focus. So that's really what you want to do, especially with Sony cameras, because it's just much faster. So again, just focusing and letting go and refocusing heaps, heaps faster. It just is what it is. So that's just how Sony works. And that's why I never, ever use AFC. While I'm here, I'll quickly jump into manual focus. And all I'm going to do now is turn the focus ring and you can see I've got it set. So it zooms in and you can fine tune the focus. So this is great. And then when you half press the shutter, it goes back and you can take your shot. Now, when I zoom into that, we know we, cause we zoomed in and got the focus perfect. So you can really uh, nail down when you're using like old manual focus lenses and stuff like that. That's a great way to, or like really long distance shots, you can zoom in and it just makes it heaps easier. So again, AFC is what you wanna do. Make sure you don't forget that. Put your camera in AFC, switch it to back button focus, and if you're not doing it, just learn how to use it. Don't be lazy, just figure out how to use it because it'll save you a whole lot of time. So there you have it, that's how I use all the focus modes in the Sony cameras. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Otherwise, I really hope that's helped you guys. It's just the main thing to remember is that AFC, AFS thing. A lot of people that are saying that Sony cameras are really slow in terms of focus, 
I think it really comes down to the AFS option. I'm not sure why Sony cameras do that in AFS. It's just never been a problem for me because I've always been on back button and I'm generally using eye focus, which you want to be in AFC anyway. But just you know, try it for yourself and you'll see why AFS is so slow. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate you guys following along. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in a couple of days with another video.